Hello YouTube, Liz here. I have um, several new yarn acquisitions I wanted to share with you guys and then um, I think I'll split this up into two videos because I've got several shawls in progress and I would like to show you the patterns I'm using and how they're working up. So <clears throat> I'm all about shawls right now. <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't know what got into me. I never made a shawl before and then all of a sudden there we have it. The only thing I've made before was a Mobius wrap. <clears throat> that was shawl like so my order from Premier Yarns finally arrived after so long and I, I think I ordered it June 27th I mentioned in a previous video that I've been waiting for it it finally arrived yesterday but I was so frustrated because it arrived Phoenix on um, July the 4th which was a holiday but I guess they were still moving uh, shipments anyway it arrived and I saw it tracked to Phoenix and I thought oh well, maybe it'll come Friday or Saturday because we're 40 miles away and it didn't come and it didn't come and it tracked delivered on tr on the track oh oh it was coming FedEx and I thought that I had a chance but FedEx handed it off to the U.S. Postal Service, a local post office, which is fine, but it said it was on the truck on the 9th. It didn't come. The 10th, it didn't come. So finally, yesterday, today's Friday, the 12th, it finally arrived yesterday, the 11th, so it showed it was on the truck for two days. I was like, where's my stuff? So it just, you know, by the time you, you wait for stuff, and I guess I should just cool my jets a little bit about that. I'm sorry, but, um, you know, stuff comes, and then it's on a truck for two days, and then you worry about it, and you think, well, and it's real hot here. It was like 112 degrees, and I don't like stuff sitting out. It's not going to hurt yarn, but when something comes, a package comes, I like to um, bring it in as soon as I can. Anyway, here it is. <laughs> and it wasn't exactly, I can even remember what I ordered. So I ordered, um, I just, it was just a small order. I just wanted to try it out. The Candy Shop yarn. And I got three of them because each one has 260 yards. And if I want to make a shawl, I'm going to need more than that. So this one is called Dark Chocolate. And it's not anything like I expected it to be. I don't know why, but it's black and gray. I thought it was going to be brown, unless it's got some brown in it that I can't really see with that cataract. It's really hard for me to see dark colors. I tell you, I've been taking my projects outside when we're in the car. I take it in the car, and I see my yarn in the sun, and I'm like, that's what it looks like it's so different I'm like oh I really need to get that cataract fixed so I got three of these and then I got an, one other color and that was all I had in that shipment I paid $12 um, I think the shipping was free because I, I paid $12 and I got six skeins so each one of them worked out to be $2 a skein they were on sale or cake Okay, so this is the same thing. Candy Shop, 260 yards. It's a medium four. It uh, calls for a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. Um, it's 100% acrylic. And this one is called Skittles. And they all pretty much look the same. You know, there's some, the mandala is where I learned to really watch because they sometimes are completely different. These are pretty much the same. And these dark chocolate ones looked all the same. I don't know about that dark chocolate. It's really hard for me to work with dark colored yarn these days. So I'm not sure, but I'll try. <clears throat> I bought I went to Hobby Lobby and I went to Joanne and I think I had the best luck at Joanne that's right these are all from Joanne I got it. Red Heart Dreamy um, this is called Dreamcatcher it's a bulky 5 
and it calls for a, a K, a size 10 and a half or a 6.5 millimeter crochet hook. It's 100% acrylic and it's 355 yards. So, and it was on clearance. I think it was like $4 and change. But I ended up getting three of these because there is a shell top that I want to try to make. I bought yarn for it already. I bought the Huga and I wanted to use that for it but I saw this and it was on clearance and the, the pattern originally called for dreamy. So I'll talk more about that pattern later. I'll, I have a picture of it. I'll show you. <clears throat> then I bought a couple more roll with it because how fabulous is that color? Oh my gosh, this is called Neon. It's, just, it's a medium four. It's red heart. It's a medium four and it um, calls for a 5.5 millimeter or a size I. And there's 296 yards in each cake. I'm sure it's acrylic. Where is this? Oh yeah, 100% acrylic. There we go. So it's real soft. It's a, not like Super Saver. It's much softer than that. And I have a couple of more roll with it, but they're just so fabulous that I just had to get another one. I saw a couple of patterns that use it, and I thought, I'm going to try it. <clears throat> this one's roll. Oh, wait, this was tweed. Yeah, that was the difference. I didn't have tweed. Roll with it tweed. <clears throat> and this color is, this, this is neon too. Oh, that's right. Okay, see how different these are? They're both neon. So when you're working a project, you really have to think about how you're going to manage the color changes. And there, there were only two left. And I remember now what I did. I saw them, and it was tweed. And I've had my heart set on the mandala, the new mandala tweed that's supposed to be in at Walmart, which we haven't gotten yet at our Walmart. But um, when I saw the roll with the tweed, I thought, at least I get something tweed. And when I saw that, I saw this one first. And then I dug around, and they didn't have another neon. So I finally, I didn't recognize this as being neon at all. I said, oh, there's another roll with it, Tweed, and I picked it up, and it was neon as well. So, beware. I bought three cakes of Terry Spun, Lion Brand Terry Spun. It feels like a towel, and that's kind of what I was going to do with it. There's 350 yards in each cake. It's a bulky five. It calls for a K or a 6.5 millimeter crochet hook. And it's 100% polyester. This colorway is called Fruit Punch. This one is Firefly. It's got a little bit of lavenders and purples on the edges. And this one is called Cotton Candy. And I'd seen this several months ago. Um, this is so pretty. I'd seen it several months ago um, floating around, and I thought I would get it, and then I thought I'd wait for a review. But it's real thin. Even though it says a bulky five, it's not a bulky five. Look, it's on a thin. Let's see if you can see it. It's on a real thin thread and it's fluffy so that's where the bulkiness comes from but I'm going to use a bigger hook and I, what my plan was when I saw it I was going to make my dogs each a big towel for summer to lay on instead of the warm blankets that I make for them in the winter out of the blanket yarns I thought maybe this would be cooler for them I don't know I'll have to whip up one and see <clears throat> I also bar bought this Premier Puzzle Yarn. Oh, this came from Walmart. I got it because we finally got something different. This is the Puzzle Yarn, and it is um, Premier's 100% acrylic, and this colorway is called Riddle. It's 328 yards. 
but when I saw it, I thought maybe I could use it for the sweater top. And you know, it's not a shell, it has long sleeves. I thought maybe my daughter might want one too, uh, just depending on how it works up. It's, it, I think it's going to work up pretty fast. I'll, sh I'll show it to you later. I have to find the picture of it. I printed off the pattern as a paid for pattern. It came out of a book. I had to order the book. It was in a magazine. I originally saw it on uh, Debbie, the Canadian crotcheter. She had it. She she had made one for herself <clears throat> out of dreaming, and it looked really neat. So I thought I'd like to try it. I don't usually make garments for myself or anyone else. Here's another peas and carrots. This is Lion Brand cupcake, and I picked up another peas and carrots because it was there. It's 590 yards. I probably don't need it to make a nice size shawl, but I thought it was kind of cool. So I went ahead and picked up another one just in case. I picked up a Lion Brand Go for Faux. <clears throat> Extremely soft as it looks. It's so fluffy. This is called Chinchilla, and it is 65 yards, 100% polyester. It is considered a super bulky size 6. It calls for an N size 13 or 9 millimeter crochet hook. I'm going to use this to make doll clothes or little jackets and hats for my granddaughter's dolls. Then. I got a Super Saver Ombre. I got this um, scuba and I thought I saw a shawl made up with it and I thought I would try to do that. Make a shawl oh, and there's a picture of a shawl made up with it on the package and I thought mm, I'm gonna try it. It's a medium four as usual for the Super Savers and it calls for a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. I'm branching out a little bit. So of course, 100% acrylic. It's red heart. Super saver. So I'm branching out a little bit. I'm deciding to use a little bit larger crochet hook with my shawls just so they'll work up a little faster because I finally finished the peacock. The one made with Mandela peacock. And it is beautiful. I've gotten so many nice comments on it and I was really happy. I can't wait to send it to its destination. It's going to be a gift, but it's here. All done. incredibly beautiful out in the sun oh my gosh I finished working on it in the car and it <laughs> it just glowed I thought wow that's even more beautiful out in the sunlight than than in here so I'm gonna finish this up and I'm going to make another video in a few minutes with my whips my shawl whips so Thanks for watching. If you like my content, please subscribe. Give it a thumbs up. But I'd really like it if you join me. See you again.